Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to add a stop motion effect to a video clip in DaVinci Resolve 17.2.1. Inside your edit window, go to effects library, underneath toolbox, select open effects, scroll down to find Resolve FX Temporal, and find the stop motion filter. Click and drag this filter to the relevant video clip on your edits timeline. Select the relevant video clip. Go to Inspector, select Effects, and under Open Effects, find the Stop Motion Attributes. To check the frame rate of your video clip, simply right click on this and choose Clip Attributes. And find the frame rate under Video. This particular video clip comprises of 25 stills per second. Click OK to close. And so in this particular project where the frame repeat is set to 5, this video clip will show 5 stills per second of screen time. The variable can be increased to 10 manually. To remove the stop motion filter, simply click on the red button next to the filter name. And to remove permanently, click on the bin icon which appears to the right. What if you wanted the stop motion effect to apply to only a certain section of your video clip? So for example here, how can I apply a frame repeat of 5 to the first 3 seconds of my chosen video clip, with the clip's normal frame rate resuming after the 3 second mark? In order to do this, I will ensure that the red playhead is positioned at the start of my video clip, Use the selection mode tool which you can also do by pressing A to manually adjust the position of this if necessary. With the red playhead in place at the first frame of the video clip, under Inspector, I will select the keyframe for the frame repeat variable. This will ensure that the frame repeat value of 5 is applied to subsequent content in the video clip unless a keyframe with different values is applied later on. To advance forward to the point before the 3 second mark now, I will hold in K and tap L. This will enable the red player to advance forward by frames. Hold in K and tap J to move back to a previous frame if necessary. With my red playhead in place at the final frame before the 3 second mark in my video clip, I will select the keyframe diamond icon next to frame repeat so that the value of 5 is applied to the first 3 seconds of my clip. I will now advance forward by one more frame to the 3 second mark. And now to have the rest of the video clip play at a normal frame rate, I will reduce the frame repeat value to 1. You can also use the stop motion filter to add a blurred vision effect. In order to do this, select the global blend option in your inspector window to reveal the blend variable. This option will enable you to blend in frames from your original video clip that is now filtered by the stop motion effect. In order to demonstrate how this works, in the bottom right corner of the video clip there is a person crossing the road towards the right side of the frame. At present there is no blurred effect added to the video, despite the value being 1. If I decrease this value to 0.5, we can see subsequent frames of the foot moving forward appear on screen, illustrating how original footage from the video clip can be used to blend in with the stop motion effect. If however we decrease the value for blend all the way to 0, all we see on screen is the subsequent frame instead, with no blurred effect added on. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.